Zhuge Liang's northern campaigns came to an end following his death. Having lost their commander, the Shu forces began withdrawing from the Wuzhang plains. However, Wei Yan refused to give up the fight. Ignoring Jiang Wei's orders to restrain himself, he went forth and charged the Wei army. The way things were going, it was only a matter of time before Xu was annihilated. Determined to take control of the situation, Jiang Wei turned to the one man he knew could help. It was Ma Dai, an officer who had the implicit trust of Zhuge Liang himself. With a resigned smile on his face, Ma Dai set off after the impetuous Wei Yan, who had charged into the enemy camp. The man, often derided as too carefree and laid back, was about to make his presence felt. Wei Yan intends to fight Wei alone if he has to. Although, I kind of understand where he's coming from. We defeated the Wei forces in the last battle and forced their commander, Sumi Yi, to retreat. However, Wei still has many capable officers in the field, including Sumi Yi's son, Shur. You needn't look so glum, my lord. Things will turn out just fine. You're saying all I have to do is go and rescue Wei Yan, right? Thank you. You are our only hope. For some reason, Wei Yan refuses to follow my orders. I think I know why. He's simply not very good at expressing himself. Expressing himself? Yeah. Let's talk about this later. There's work to be done. Wei Yan is missing. We cannot retreat without him. It will be too dangerous. Several of our allies have been left behind. We must go back for them. Master Wei Yan to thank for putting us through that. I was hoping I could go back home. Where is Wei Yan? I can't see him anywhere. Where could he have gone? You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops! I thank you for rescuing me. Did the others at the main camp make it out in time? Master Wei Yan's whereabouts are unknown. Why would he charge at the enemy? I do I think I understand why. But we'll never know for sure until we find him. Do not resist me! I have no excuse for troubling you with this rabble. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. I understand that you went to great trouble to get here. Please, take these as a token of our gratitude. Not the tone yet. You have no 
choice but to leave without it. I shall be your opponent. Prepare yourself. what you're getting at. I'm already doing my best out here. Look. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. I don't want to die here. We have pulled off on a retreat momentarily. We must wait for our allies here at this garrison. Time to meet the assistant. I will not allow a single man of Shu to escape. This will be an easy fight. I cannot let Dung Ai take all the glory. We managed to survive with minimal damage. Concentrate your efforts on rescuing our allies. I saw Master Wei Yang charging into the enemy's main camp. Presently engaging Sumashur in battle. We must go help at once. Calm down yet? How many times do I have to tell you not to rush in by yourself? I won't retreat. Destroy way. <sighs> Why is that so important to you? Zhuge Liang, not here anymore. So I build land of. Virtue instead! Okay, I see you've misunderstood a few things. Things will still be okay, even without him. <clears throat> the ideals Lord Liu Bei and Lord Zhuge Liang had, these things, they don't disappear just because they're dead. Here, take a look. We can all work together to build a land of benevolence.
The end justifies any means. I take any advantage I can get. <laughs>